I'll do. Over the past few months, I've been looking on AliExpress to find any kind of crappy little console that I can come across to have a look at. And I keep coming across the same things, and that's little nasty cheap controllers. And uh, one in particular keeps popping up, and that's uh, this little thing here. Uh, it doesn't give any details of what it, what's on it or what it does. Uh, it just says game player. Um, the adverts are pretty crap. It just doesn't give any detail about it. So I thought I'd give it a shot. Um, it was about three pound fifty-seven, um, and I thought it'd be quite interesting to see if there's anything decent on it. And uh, on closer inspection. This may look like a roadkill version of Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, and I know nothing about it. Uh, I've not tried it. Um, so <laughs> we can have a look today. But um, this is the packaging it comes in. It doesn't come in a box, it just comes in a bag. Uh, which has some lovely instructions with it. All the information it gives is three fire buttons plus one multifunction, the direction key. Okay. Super classic games in one set, whatever that means. TV output interface, okay. AV cable included, uh, yeah, which you get the, the, the standard RCA cable with this. Um, supported TV system, NTSC, so it might not even work on a PAL region. Um, built in laser lamps. Sounds great. Built in flashlight, which I'm sure you need when you're playing games. And powered from one AAA battery. Uh, and that's it. That is, that's all we get. Um, just your usual notices and problem solving. Um, which is quite simple, really. If it doesn't work, bin the fucking thing. On the packaging itself, um, it has. Some Chinese writing now I use Google Translate for this which uh, I'll put up a picture here for that which says 8-bit handheld mini joystick game console classic NES blue 180 pieces in a box so I'm guessing from that it's all going to be NES games and there's 180 to choose from uh, so that's all that out of the way uh, let's go and have a look what's actually on the system okay so we've got it all plugged in it's time to hit the switch and see what happens. All right, so we got some it up now. Uh, let's not the hell that thing is up there. Looks like a hybrid Pokemon Mega Man, but the usual Chinese and English. So we'll, we'll go for English. And um, we're supposed to have 180 games in this, and um, I'm guessing probably maybe four of them we've heard of. Uh, so there we go, Angry Bird 3. Well, they didn't even do a one or two for the NES. Uh, Contra 1, right, Super Mario, Spartan, Arkanoid, Aladdin 3, um, there wasn't even Aladdin 2, so that's just going to be crap. Uh, Goonies, load of shite, load of shite, load of shite. Uh, it's predictable, really, I knew this was going to be a terrible system, but Dong Key? I'm guessing that's supposed to be Donkey Kong, or well, maybe not, I don't know. Popeye. So let's just quickly run through the whole list, as there's not many on this system. Nothing stands out here. Donkey Kong 3? Bomberman? Okay, we know Bomberman. Oh, 89. Well... It's 89 in one. Well, okay, it says it at the top there. I didn't see that. Fast Bros. Hmm. Okay, um, let's try the obvious. We'll try Super Mario. Okay. Start. Okay, so run and jump are the wrong way round. Oh, it's getting used to that, that's horrible. I mean, graphically it looks pretty dreadful. 
but surprisingly playable. Sound too bad. Straight down the hole. Okay, let's, uh, let's try something else. Um, I don't know any of the, if these actually existed on the NES. I'm not really up on my NES games. Um, I should imagine things like F1 Race and. Well, Goonies, I know was. Kung Fu probably was. Could be wrong, but let's try Contra 1. Mm. That doesn't work. Dig Dog? Alright, so that seems to be working. Um, but I'm not even going to bother checking the rest out because it's just going to be a load of crap. So, let's have a final word on this. Right, so is this worth having? Um, uh, not for someone like me. If you're a collector or a big player of games, uh, this is no good whatsoever. Um, it's just a child's toy. Maybe if your your little kids are into little fun games, yeah, it's not bad. I mean, the three pound, three pound to five pound, I think it normally retails for. Isn't bad if you just want want to occupy the kids for a while. But us collectors and adults, not no good whatsoever. The buttons, however, do actually feel quite good. I'm very surprised. Uh, it is an analog stick. And that responds well. I'm very, very surprised with that. Um, so control-wise, perfect. Um, we also have the flashlight. Yeah. Uh, I think that's all it's really worth having for is just a little light for the kids to play with. <coughs> and that's all it's good for is a child to play with. So <coughs> give it to a small child and have fun. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.